Thank you. What for? Oh, I just thought you complimented my t-shirt. Your t-shirt looks really good. Thank you. Group hug. I've got a really funny tummy today. I, yeah. I don't know whether it's just the realisation that I'll never sleep with anyone else again or the fact that I ate quite late last night, but it is actually quite unsettling. Oh. You're going to get me the stress boob. So, the other night, um, we were in bed and um, I... When? And I realised something we never told you guys. Way back when Fifth Harmony were a girl band that was with five members that were together. Wow. But when they were all... Wow. <laughs> when they were all like a family. When there was five like, no, of them. Wow. We were like, we've got to do something different. And everyone did the same things. Like they played like, oh, I could be your sixth harmony. I hate <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we knew everything. We knew everything that everyone ever said to them. And we were like, we want to pitch something really different. No one said no, though. No, I they said yes. Oh, they, they said yes. Said yes. And then it didn't happen. And then it didn't happen for whatever reason. So we invented a game. Which I really want to start so as a series. good. I want to go to LA and do it with all the lesbian YouTubers. Do you remember I told Ali Hills in that yeah. Uber? And I was like, Ali, look at the PDF I made in order yeah. to pitch this idea. Yeah, and she was like, do you normally do this when you pitch? And we were like, no, this is just something this special. Is special. <laughs> and so we invented this game called True for Egg, right? And basically, <laughs> we were going to split Fifth Harmony into two teams. And me and Rose argued for ages about who was going to be. I had Camila team. and Dinah. I had Camila and Dinah. I had Lauren. And no, I had, I had Norma. Yeah, I had Normani. Trust me, I remember my PDF. And basically the concept is true for egg. Yeah, right? it's true, so, but true, true for, for egg. egg. So um, if they, they either said a truth or they got egg. No, but, we but, got but, egg. That's they what were, I, that's they what were egg, their team captain. I was just about to say, but because we couldn't get you them all eggy. You don't even know. Hello, Hello. it was my idea. We couldn't get them I, her eggy. I, yeah, oh yeah, and didn't we come up with a whole thing because we found out Lauren Hareggy's name was pronounced. Uh, eggy. At the end, if there was a tie, it would turn into sudden egg. What was sudden egg? Again? Sudden egg was extremely, extremely sudden egging. What was it? No, I, I thought remember. there was like a tie breaking Oh my god, question. I can't remember what happened in sudden egg, but I remember <laughs> the other night we remembered the tie breaking round of sudden egg and Rosie and I were crying I laughing. Cried. We actually proposed. My life is sudden egg. That's literally my life. <laughs> it's such an egg. egg. I think we invent the best stuff. I'm sorry, but our creativity is unlimitless. It would have been. No, wait. Yeah. What? From when we thought we played the same venue as Camila. I went up to tour Danny Dave. Like, yeah, can you even believe it, Dave? Like, we did Birmingham and then Camila did Birmingham. He was like, yeah, not the same one, though. I don't know. So and I was like, yeah, it is the same one, Dave. The same one. We did the institute, she did the academy, which is a lot bigger. This is our first video of you 30, and we got up really early to film it. Oh my god, are we doing that old people thing where we start to wake up really unnecessarily early just to ruin our own lives? Just to make our lives more miserable. Put your boob down! No, it's really nice. I need it because no. I'm 30. I need it. I'm stressed. I don't look 30. I was in the cult the other day, and he was like, You having a good day? And I was like, My birthday tomorrow. And he was like, Oh, it's like the big 3-0. <laughs> and he went, you don't look a day over 24. And I was like, I'm married, but thanks. If you think about it, we have to trust what our parents say. What if they've said that we're older than we are, just to say it? Because you can't remember being born then, yeah? Yeah. When we were born 88? Yeah, you can't Apparently. remember being born. Apparently, but who knows? Do you remember the 80s? No. Right, probably, maybe you're not. 30. What was your best age? And if you could become a Cullen, an old school 2012 reference, uh -huh. what age would you like to become immortal? Oh, uh, right. Um, not 21. 21. I haven't found my good age yet. I really? haven't had it yet. What if you have, and the rest is downhill from here, but you just don't know because you always think things are going to get better. If you could invent something that doesn't exist right now, what would it be? I mm. would invent. Yes. Something that stops men from mansplaining. Oh. So you never have to listen to That's it. That's a great thing. And then like every time they try and do it, you just hear like a lovely white noise or some kind of like womb sound. Do you know what? <laughs> Something melodic. That's amazing. Yeah. But I think you should adapt it slightly. Yeah. So that instead of it just kicking off when they're mansplaining, how about every time they open their fucking mouths? Yeah, that's true, that's true. I can't believe it's such a man-hating channel I'm unsubbing. Nikki, Sammy and Linda asked if we'd ever be down to go on like a group holiday together. Mm. And what I wanted to say was... Group sex. Well, yeah. I wanted to say, well, if it's anything like my family holidays, we'll probably just end up all having sex together. But I don't really know if 
they're like up for that or sideways for it. Mm. Isn't it great that we're like concert goers now? Like I've never been a festival person because it's not really in my nature, but I am a fan girl with the merch to prove it. And isn't it great that there's like concert goers? Uh, babe, do you want to know something so sad? It might be the same for you. I've only seen three concerts in my 20s, I think. Oh, do you want to hear all yeah. the concerts I've seen yeah. ever in my life? Fifth Harmony. No, I'm going to do it in order. Hearsay. Yeah. 911. Yeah. We used to already see more. Kelly that. Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson, Cardiff Party in the Park, 2005. You were big on Kelly Clarkson. I loved Kelly Clarkson. She got me out of my OCD funk. Fifth Harmony, Camila Cabello. I've really Megan loved Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer. I've got a real variety of genres, haven't I? Speaking of sudden egg, yeah. I want you to tell them yeah. the story you told me about your tonsil stones. No. Yes. No. Yes! Have you ever had a tonsil stone in your life? No. They come in different sizes. I haven't had one. Basically, a tonsil stone is when food gets stuck at the back of your tonsils or in them and gradually goes hard, a little bit like lime scale. <laughs> What's your tonsils? I'll continue. When I was younger, <laughs> I, was, I, was quite, I, I was quite young. Rose just told no. me a story the other day and I was like, Rose was crying with laughter and I was like, right, what the right. fuck? First of all, first what? of all, can I just talk about something? We all have experienced the morbid fascination of knowing something smells bad but going back for more. And if no, you deny I don't it, if you deny it, you're lying not only to yourself, but to the world. No, I don't do that. Yes, you Tell do. a story. I accidentally coughed up something that I didn't know at the time was a, a tiny tonsil stone. I just thought it was a bit of crap, right, as you do. So you coughed up like this so little ball I kind of coughed it up in my mouth. I was like, Ew. what's that, right? Reasonable. How old were you? About six. <laughs> okay. I took this and I smeared it on the side of the the arm, the arm, arm of the, the sofa. arm of the sofa, right? I didn't know that as soon as you break a tonsil stone, the worst smell known to man. What does it smell? Emanates from such an evil source, and it was there. It what was does on... it smell like? Let me guess. Is it like bile and pineapple juice and sick? Yes, that's perfect. And so bile. Egg. Pineapple juice and sick. Mm. That's exactly what it smells like. Pineapple so, juice is rank. I smeared it on the arm of the sofa and as a six year old, and a 30 year old, I do it now, I went in for the sniff. So I you rubbed it on the sofa? I smelt it <laughs> and I fucking gagged, right? <laughs> and I went back for more. <gasps> and I wanted to see how many times I could make myself dry <laughs> heave before actually being sick. Not only that, the next day and a few days afterwards, I came back and it just got worse. So basically, you rubbed your fucking mouth crud on the arm of your sofa or couch, or whatever, and then you kept going. At least I didn't. At least I didn't hump the sofa arms. Okay, that like me. So. That wasn't me. That was. And you. <laughs> it wasn't me. I hunt a lot of things, but not my sofa. So the other day, we're in Starbucks, we're robbing their internet, and I went and bought some food and drink. Um, hang on, I'm just trying to remember what happened. You've left us on a cliffhanger. I was making conversation with the guy who was serving me, right? And I got the impression that he fancied me, right? And I was like, oh, I worry he thinks like I'm flirting, maybe, because, but I was just like filling the gap, right? The, the time while he was heating up my food because I found it awkward, so we were just chatting, right? And I and then I went to the loo, right? And I was like, oh, um, I'm gonna have to slip in. I was just thinking in my head like, oh, uh, I'll just have to slip in, in conversation, my wife, like just mention it casually, so, so it's not weird or anything, like mm. just bring it up and then mm. that's fine. And I went up to him and he leaned in. <gasps> and he literally went to me, yeah, we're, uh, we're closing in a bit, so if you could just... And he, he told me to get out, <laughs> if you could just go. So he was buttering you up in order to tell you to fuck off. Yeah, I think it was just all in my head. Yeah. I don't like the idea of you talking to people that find you attractive. Well, he didn't, he asked me to leave. That's fine then. Talking of awkward encounters, go right? On. Oh, I'm not over it. What? Like, I want to what? die when I think about right. it. 
and which one? When we were in New York filming our documentary, yeah, right, we went to a, a, a few gay and lesbian bars, and um, we like met all. We happened to walk into this bar where there was this like entire lesbian football team. That was so fun. Yeah, it was really fun, and we hung out with them and played some cool. American game with them. What was it? Pot. Flip cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, we met two girls. You thought one was hot, and I thought the other was hot. I thought they were both hot, actually. I thought they were both hot as well, but I preferred the one. You preferred the other, but anyway. Oh, I'm just so embarrassed. Because they dared us to make out and we did. Oh, um, no, not that, but that doesn't matter me. But um, I said something really awkward to them and it was just really awkward. What did you say? And now I'm, we've probably lost two fans because they're probably like, oh, Rosie in real life. What did you say? Oh, I just like- got, Did I you say I eat my own tonsil stone? No. Basically, I just Did got you really awkward. One? No, I don't have tonsils though. I just got really. What's that smell then? I, d- I just got really awkward them, and they were like really attractive, and they were fans. And then like we had a picture with them, and we were like hanging out, and then we went to leave, and I didn't know what to say, and I got really awkward, and I went, "Yeah, make sure you're subscribed," and they were like, and I was like, and now I like in the shower sometimes I scream about it. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> did you say that? Yeah, and I kill myself every day about it. First of all, <laughs> oh, why did I say it? And and one of them like I said yeah, and I said the same thing to both of them because I was awkward and didn't know what to say. You said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> did you not learn the first time? No. Okay. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> and now I'm worried that they're literally like, what the fuck. She's so socially awkward, and I'd have to be like, I'm gonna say that to every single no. person we ever meet, ever. I went, make sure you're subscribed. <sighs> it's bad, isn't it? It's not good, is it? And I said it to the one girl that you thought was hot, and she went, oh, and she was like, ah! All right, guys, that's it for Mass for another week. Uh, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Oh! Don't ever leave me because I don't know how to speak to people. Okay, I was. I need a little precious flower. Oh, You're socially inept. Oh, babe, why did I say it? I don't you know, know. I didn't tell you I said it for ages. I just like. Just, just relax. <laughs> what has our channel become? I don't know. All right, guys, that's it for us. If you want to come see us on tour, the link is in the bio. No description. What, what platform is this? YouTube. The link is in the description box below and we will see you in October. I can't wait to hug you, Rosie. Can't wait to make sure that you're subscribed and we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Mm. It tastes like cinnamon. Yeah, it tastes like a lot of things. Why do you taste like cinnamon? I don't know. It's a mixture. Why did you put it away? You.